all right hello guys i'm back and we will continue with this like i said we're going to be viewing this from the front end to see how it looks like right so uh we're just going to do ui manage.py and then we're going to do run server okay um yes yeah, so we'll just click on this opens up that's fine and then we'll just do accounts and then we'll just do let's reg no we can't do register we'll just do login so this is how it looks like um so we have to quickly do something here uh where, where are we going to do that again so let's come over to base.html right and then just have to close this out come over here and then refresh now you can see how this looks like it looks good all right so log into the leave management system cool um let's look at um let's look at um okay we can't do update profile yet we can't do block accounts yet um but we can see how that looks like though right but uh we um base.html change password okay so all these ones we're going to see them later on right but i think we can see change password i think we can see change password but we can't see update profile yet so let's see how change pro uh, change password looks like come over here and then we'll just do change password or oh, is it password change one of the two sorry this spell password correct so password so this is how it looks like so you can see username um new password confirm password okay so we have to change username so come over here and then we'll just do old password that's what we're going to do here okay so old password not username so refresh you can see old password enter new password confirm password right so let's do confirm new password i think this makes a lot of sense right so we'll just do confirm new password come over here again and then refresh okay cool so next thing that we're going to do so let me just close this out right so next thing we're going to do now is we are going to build the leave um system properly okay so this works fine so we just um yes close this out close this out as well too and then let's focus on leave so let's see okay so come over here and then we'll just do some things so we do from django.contrib.auth.models imports user okay so we'll just say class just call this leave models the model come over here so we're just going to say uh no we're going to say title yes title models dot char field max length let's just call it 255 okay so we want to have like a start date models dot date field okay and then end dates or rather let's call this reason not title reason so end dates models dot um still this field as well too um so let's do com uh, let's do comments models dot um text text field so this is like it's going to be like blank true no true right um what else what else what else what else what else are we going to do also going to have like um status right so status what else that's um track field right so max length is just a 15 here so come over here and then we'll do status choices okay so we're going to do approved or approve and then we're going to approve okay come over here i'm uh, going to do sorry um decl uh, decline right decline decline all right so come over here and then we're just going to do status no sorry not status oh not status so we're going to do choices status choices all right so null is going to be true blank also is going to be true all right so we just admin comment admin comment what else dots let's just like a text field text field um null true all right um null true and then blank true right 
Um, so let's do date created. So when was this thing created? Or let me just leave um space bar like this, convention sake. And then uh date time field um auto add now. Sorry. No 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 sorry. Um yes, I'm I'm correct. So auto now add actually is correct. Sure. Right? Okay, so this makes sense. And then we can start building um um the views and forms, right? So let's create a form on the py. Come over here, we'll just say from Django um import forms from models import leave, right? So class. Um so let's do create create leave form. Okay, so this is gonna be forms dot model form. And then class meta, okay. So model is going to be leave. Um, so we have our fields, right? Or let's just use exclude. I think exclude is better here. So exclude, what, what are we excluding? Uh, let's exclude status. Um, let's exclude status admin comment. All right, so status, first one. Oh Lord, no, 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 hold on. Um, status admin comment date created date created admin comment. Okay, cool. So um, now we've done this, we could come over to our views, right? So let's see what we can do. So let's so first thing we're gonna do um create a leave, right? So here we'll do view all created leave requests. So create leave requests. All right. Uh, here we're gonna do um leave requests queue. All right, so for admin, okay. Here we're gonna do approve or deny leave requests. All right, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um, do, 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 do. I, I, think, I think this is it though. I think this is it, I think this is it. So let's see, this is actually, um, this is gonna be very, very quick. So let's see, so we're just gonna do redirect here. So from Django.country, so import messages from models, wanna import leave from forms, form rather, wanna import creates leave form here. Yeah? Come over here and then we'll just say dev um, creates, let's just do create leave, right? So we'll take in requests. So if requests.method is it's posts, all right. So we'll just say form is going to be create the form request the posts. If form dot is underscore valid, so we'll say form dot save. So we'll just say commit false, right? Um, hold on, I didn't do something here, so I didn't do user. Yes, you guys didn't tell me, but that's fine though. So user is going to be models dot foreign key user so undelete models dot cascade okay cool so views here we have um coming false so vr equals and then vr dot user um we just have requests dot user right and then vr dot save okay so messages dot um success they're taking requests. So we're gonna say um leave requests is under review. No. Has been submitted and is under review. Right? And then our return redirects to home, right? And um, let's see, let's see. So we'll do an else statement here as well too. So else, we want to say messages.warning, uh, taking request. 
and then this is going to be something went wrong right something went wrong uh, return redirect um return redirect to to quick live right cool um what else else form is going to be quickly form all right um quickly form um context so form form so return render requests okay um return render request uh live create live dot html and then we have context all right cool so we're done with this hopefully this makes sense right and then will come over here and then we'll just do it fine um all leave all leave requests okay so we're just taking requests and then we'll just do we'll just do leave and then it's going to be leave dot object sorry objects dot filter okay so user is going to be requests dot user right and obviously you have a context here which is going to be leave and then leave right so we do return render requests um live so let's see all live underscore requests dot html context okay so we we'll define and then we're just going to say live requests um q okay and then this is going to be leave um leave let's say uh, hold on scratch my belly okay so it's going to be leave dot objects dot um that's full talk actually um where status is um hold on so let's just, let's do something so look let's come over here and add one more thing here so let's do pending all right so come over here i'm going to do pending so let's do let's come over to status here and then let's do like default so default is going to be pending right okay um yeah it makes sense makes sense so come over here to views and then status is pending all right so we're going to come over here and then we're just going to say context all right so context live and then leave right um return render requests um so leave live requests q that html that one put in context right so approve or deny so it's very easy um what do we call this so let's, call, let's, let's call it admin response right so taking request also taking pk first thing first we want to get the leave so we we'll just do leave dot obj dot get all right so we'll do a response no sorry pk is equals to pk all right so we'll get that leave and hold on so let's see so admin response right so we'll get that leave oh hold on hold on how how, how do we do this let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see um uh let's see let's see let's see um okay so let's do like Hmm. Let's do like two buttons, right? Or let's do approve response and deny response. That now makes sense. So approve response. So that would be um leave dot status is approved. Or approve, right? Um leave dot save. And then it's gonna be messages dots 
uh, messages.success and taking requests. Uh, I think I have requests here as well too, just making sure. Oh, so requests, and then it's going to be you have approved leave for blah, 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 blah. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me not rush it. So you have a blue approved the leave requests for um what is what is the user so let's just say for user all right so put this in here for user no 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 sorry for um for leave for leave dot user all right um uh, return redirect so taking back to home I think that makes sense, yeah. That that makes sense. Yes, that actually makes sense. So we're gonna do something else. Uh, let's just copy this and then just paste it in here. So let's do um, decline requests. All right, so decline requests. Fine. Oh, okay, cool. The home, okay, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Um, what else? What else? What else do we have to do? What else do we have to do though? So I'll probably deny blah blah blah. Okay, so let's come over here though, and then let's create like a URLs.py file. All right. Um. So come over here and we'll do from Django dot no, URLs. So imports path. No, don't read path. Oh, am I typing from this directory import views? So URLs patterns. All right, so we'll have path. And we're going to say, what is the first one? No, first one here, use the py, create leave, right? So let's call this create leave request. All right, so create leave request. Um, come over here, I'll just create, sorry, not outside, inside actually. So create leave requests, right? So views.create leave request, name, create leave requests. Path again. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna say um um uh, create leave request all leave requests. Yeah. Okay. So we'll say all leave requests. Was was that what I called it? All leave requests. Okay. Um, come over here. Views dot all leave requests so name all leave requests right come over here and then we're gonna do path nope path um okay so let's see which one comes next um leave request queue right cool so come over here and then we're gonna do leave request queue okay so views dot leave request queue. Oh, the my type in live request queue. Okay, path. So what else are we doing here? So live request queue. We have approved response. Sorry, approve. See, we need to call this request. So requests, right? And then I decline re requests. So this is going to be approve. So approve requests and PK. All right. Views dot approve requests. Approve requests. All right. So path uh, decline requests. Okay. Use dot decline request name 
decline request. All right, I think this makes sense. Except for one thing, we didn't do this. Okay, this makes sense. I think everything makes sense at this point, and then we could do something. Um, very quickly, we could just go over to um templates, right? So we already have leave, so we just come over here to templates, click this one, I'll click templates, right? And then we just do base.html. All right, and let's just um before uh you know what, let's let's just create a template before I start importing what I have to import. So we're just gonna do um we're gonna we're gonna create this one. So create leave.html. So come over to base. No, come over to leave. Let me just put this up. Then nah, put this up here. Come to leave, drop it down. All right, so create leave.html. Um views, so we need to do all leave requests. Okay, so come over to drop this down. No, um, paste .html. All right, so do um leave request queue. All right, so come over to leave again. Dot dot um dot no two dots there. HTML. Yes. Okay. So let's come over to base.html. Let's import our HTML here. All right. So come over and just click this and um, just do home. Yeah. So yeah. I also forgot to do home. That's very true. So come over to views.html. Let's just scroll up and then let's just call this home. I think that's why I called it here though in my account. Let me see. Views.py. What do I call it? Home, yes. So, move over to this place, just do home. All right. So, return render requests. All right. So, this is going to be leave home.html. All right. Makes sense. So, um, come over to URL.py. Let's not forget. And then we'll just do path. This is going to be empty door. All right. So, empty. Um, views dot home. All right, so let's just call it home. Okay, so take this out. We're also going to create like a home thing here. So home dot html. Cool. Um, so copy everything here and then paste right in base. Clear this out. Okay, so here you know what to do. Come over here and I will just do blog content. Over here, we do end block content. All right, so we'll just copy this or cut rather. All right, come over to home. Oh, sorry, not, not this home. <laughs> Let's copy to this one. And then we'll just do um, extend base.html. Now I'll remove that. So we'll do block content. And block content, right? And paste it in here. All right, so for my document, cool. So let's just call this, let's just call this leave tracker here. Okay, and then we'll come over to base.html, call this, uh, let's just call this leave tracker. Over here, come over here, and then you just call this live, make it very fancy, live. Okay, so obviously when we click on this, we want it to take us back to home. And obviously for home as well, to take us back to home, right? We're also going to tweak all this one later, so don't worry. Um, So let's do something. Let's come over to, let me just check if I did this very quickly. Come over to base.html. Oh, I didn't do it here, okay. Okay, let me just do live accounts uh, accounts right okay so we're going to do something um so let's see so let's come over so let's start with create leave request first of all so we're going to do extends b.html okay and then block content 
and then end envelope content and then we're going to scroll up to here just go to form copy this one in here copy everything quickly if we're going to paste it in here delete this create so just do create a leave request okay so we're just going to do load widget tweaks all right um um, okay, so here is going to be, so let's look at what we have to do here. Let's let's go over to leave, then go over to models, right? So first one is going to be reason. Okay, so we're going to do reason here. All your reason. Okay, and then come over here. And then we're going to see render field form dot reason. Um, so just uh, take um this one here from control right paste in here okay so we can clear this out cool makes sense clear this out right so we'll copy this one paste 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 right so this is going to be start dates sorry start start dates all right and um start date is going to be here so start date um dun 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 dun. end date so it's gonna be like end date um so it's gonna be like comments all right so we'll just call this additional comments right okay um additional comments take this out right okay so one two three four let's just confirm one two three four cool so um do we need to see uh, okay let's see this from the front end see how it looks like from the front end right um so let's come over to account no so Django project settings N no sorry urls rather Okay, so come over here, and then we'll just do path. All right, so we'll just do leave. All right. Uh, for actually, uh, let's do something. Uh, hold on, let's do something. Um, <clears throat> let's do path. All right, to make this empty. So we'll say um, include leave dot urls and then put this one in okay so um now let's do some checks before we run this so come over to views right so let's import something here so we just say from django dot contrib dot auth dot decorators import login required so come over to this one here also login required right cool so um let's see if it's running fine it's running fine so let's come over here and if we don't have an account to logged in it's just going to tell us to sign in right so you can see leave accounts you want us to, you want us to log in so let's call this login to leave tracker so let's come over to templates come over to leave sorry um come over to accounts login right log into the leave tracker let's call this tracker so we need to log into the leave tracker to be able to get um the leave right sorry to be able to create uh, leaves basically okay so we're going to be doing that very soon but i need to do something and i'm going to connect it to you guys back all right so just hold on one minute just one minute all right guys so i am back okay so um we need to create our user so we have to do that from the back end so to do that let's just kill our terminal or our server rather so we'll do py manage dot py um create super user all right so obviously chidi you know the vibes chidi at email email email.com um, so I'll just put in a password. No, I don't know if I said it's correct. So let me just type in slow. K. 
Okay, type in slow. Yes. Okay, so um, run server. All right, so I can just go over to the admin. So I'll just do admin. All right. So admin. So I'll just log in as uh, Chili, and then put in my password. So sign in, and then I can click on users. And I just I just have one user here, right? And I can just add another user. So let's just call this user one, or yes, user one. Then put in a password for user one, and then put in a confirm the password rather, and just to save, call, and today we do, okay. Let's do user two, right? Just make everything look good. Um, so we can just save this anyway. So let's do user two, add another user. So we can just do user two, all right. All right, cool. So we have user two here, right? So we'll save. So we don't use it too. Cool. So um, let's do something. So we're just going to open, let's just copy this one here, right? So copy this and open an incognito window. Paste this in here. All right, so we're going to log in. So we're just, we're going to log in as user one. But before that, let me just check something very quickly. Um, okay, just make sure I have this one's intact. So that's cool, I have them intact and then I'll just put my password. So if everything should go fine, we should be logged into um, the home page, right? Oh, what did I do? So user one. Okay, so we're in the home page, right? So everything went well. So I need to put my alert there. I didn't put that. So let me just do bootstrap five. No, bootstrap five, right? Ah, so this first one here. So component, let's look at a lot. Scroll down and then just copy this one here, right? So come over to this place and then let's look for base.html. Um, so come over here and then we're just gonna say if messages. Okay. Alright, so we'll just say for message in messages. Alright, so we'll paste this in here um put it in here as well so, so we'll just say message dot tags all right so we'll come here make it b and then and we'll just say message our message all right come over here and then we'll just do end for okay and end if right end if right all right cool so come over to here refresh yes logs nice is the one that works fine okay so how do we start doing the tracker so let's just do stats or um start create a leave request let's make this button um or let's convert it into a create a leave request button so we'll come over here and then we'll just do um come over here we'll just do create a leave requests Right, uh, we change it to a tag, a tag, so ref, and then we we'll just call this create live request. I think that's why I called it, you guys. Yeah, so let's see. No, not this one. Um, let's go over to live. So let's go to your so py. So create live request. Cool. So come over here. Um, come over to home.html create live request. So this will work fine. So come over here and now refresh. Okay, it didn't work fine. That's because I didn't do something right. So come here and do URL, put this in here and put this in here. Come again and refresh. So let's see, refresh. So click on create a leave request and it should take us to our form. Right, so your reason, start date and this additional comment. So we can see additional comment there. So let's see what is going on. So I don't think we even did migration for this. Wow, that's really weird. But anyways, let's just quickly do migration. Um, py manage that py make um, migrations okay so we'll just say migrate okay py run server so let's look at our forms right what happened so this is capital C 
Okay, no, copy to see cool. So come over here and then let's refresh. Okay, so now you can see that we don't have like a date speaker for this, right? So I want to have like a date speaker here. So to do that, it's actually very easy with Django widget tweak. So we we'll just come over to uh where we have our start date, right? Come over to anywhere actually, we'll just do type and then uh just to date. So if I come over here and I refresh. So you should see our uh, display car available, right? Um, so we're also going to do the same thing too for this one. Let's just copy. And this is our end date, right? So we'll just paste it in here. So same thing. And then we are able to see for this one as well too. So, and also for this one, we need to like add a better height for this. So to do that, because if I come over here and I adjust the height and I refresh, it still goes back to the, into high walls. So come over here to additional comment, right? And then we're going to do something here. So what we're going to do now is just leave like a pipe thingy here. And then we're just going to say attributes and sorry. So we're going to say, um, so let's do, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Rows. Okay. Um, so let's say rows is going to be four, right? So let's see how, how it works. I'm not really sure of rows and columns. Yes. So that's it though. So now, even if I do this and I refresh, it still comes back to high walls. So I think this is actually very good. Now we can give our reason and then submit, right? Okay. Um, so before we do this, let's see how the queue looks like. We don't have a queue yet. So let's just um, build that very quickly. Okay. So let's just square things out here. Make things look good. Make things look good. Okay, so let's let's look at um let's look at um all the request queue. So we're just gonna do extend base.html. All right. So we'll do block content and block content, right? Okay, cool. So Let's come over here and then get the HTML, right? So we'll do um, tab table, yes. Table, paste it in here and just copy this and then we'll paste it in here as well. So we'll come here and then we'll just say reason. Um, so we'll say start dates, all right? Um, so we'll do end, end dates, all right? So here we can, we can do comments. Okay, um, number, uh, here we can also do um, status, status, mm, uh, approval or admin, let's do admin response here as well too. And then let's do decreated. I think this makes a whole lot of sense there. Okay, so we'll come over here. All right, and then we're gonna do, hold on, what, okay, hold on, let me see yours. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we're gonna do um, for L in leave. All right, so we're going to call this, um, so sorry. Okay, so we're gonna say um, L dot reason. I think that makes sense, yeah? I'll just copy this one, paste it in here, paste, paste. Nope. Okay, so this one is going to be, let's call this start date. All right. And date. Um, so we'll do comments. Um, okay, so here we're going to do something. So, no, hold on. Yes, actually, correct. So we're just going to say if l dot status is pending all right so let's just take this in here and then put it in here right so we'll just say a live elder status is um approve all right we want to do something so we'll take this in here as well too and then put it in here so we just say approve 
all right so we'll just call let's make this to be success okay I'll copy this one um put it in here at all so um status is decline let's copy this one all right put it in here and then we'll call this decline and then we'll just call this danger all right come over here and then we'll just do end if okay so that is i mean that, that is admin response or rather we'll just do so if there's yeah so there's always there's actually a response actually so because the default is going to be pending so anyway so let's come over here and then let's do um so we'll just copy this right all right and then we'll come over to um this place okay so admin response so we're just going to say if l dot admin response okay so one is show admin response else i also just want to show nil all right and then we we'll just want to show um end if all right okay so date created as also very important so we're just going to do that here and just call this date underscore created makes sense so just we can just um delete all these ones here okay so um okay let's see so let's come over to oof, let's come over to what's the time by the way for the one minute okay so let's come over to leave or rather templates um Based on HTML, right? So let's call let's let's just call this um uh now link, right? So let's let's also make this active. All right, so let's call this live requests. All right, so all live no no URL. Oh why? all live requests right okay so mm, let's see what did i do there okay so come over here and um, let's go back to home so click on leave leave requests error and block content okay something is going on somewhere so did i do any block content here block content and block content and block content, block content, and block content. So where exactly did I get it wrong? Let me see what's going on here. So templates, empty, and for Okay, so I think I didn't close the tag. So let's see. For L, yes, I didn't close this one. So just do and for All right? So I'll come over here again and check it out. So refresh. Okay, cool. Manage table. I'm going to turn that into um all live requests. All right. Okay, so when I come over here again and I refresh, you see all live requests. So I haven't done anything yet. So let me let's just start creating. So create a live request. So um I need to go get my glasses right so let's say i want to start from fright uh no let's say it's going to be like oh no no no, hold on so on monday right so 24th which is on monday uh it's 25th say let's just say i just need to get my glasses or let's just leave like a smiley face Okay, so submit. Okay, so what's going on here is that I failed to put this. Well, I didn't even see that. Okay, so let's just do where's the form? Okay, so come over here and then we'll just do just rl underscore token. So come over here again and um create leave requests or so refresh. So get my glasses. Okay, so start dates. Obviously, we want this to be Monday. I want to be back on uh, Tuesday, right? I need to 
get my glasses. So, all right, so we can just click on submit. All right, what's it saying? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it, it, it's been created. It's been created, but something went wrong somewhere. Let me show you guys what happened. So come over to views, and then this is actually going to be create leave requests. No, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> let's see. So um, let's look at URLs on py, right? Create leave request, create leave request. It's going to be create leave request. So I don't think it went through, though. I don't think it went through. But we're going to see that very quickly. Something went wrong. Okay, so what went wrong? What went wrong? So that's what went wrong. Let's come over to models.py. Let's see. So users, obviously, we're logged in. So reason, putting a reason, start dates, end dates, comments, status, um, blank, blank. Okay. Okay, so let's look at our let's look at our create leave request. Reason start date end date comments. Okay. Oh, right, let's try again. Let's see. Let's refresh. Okay, so get my glasses right. So start date is going to be twenty fourth. An end date is going to be fifth, so we can just submit something went wrong. Hmm, guys, what, what do you think is going wrong with this? Because I do not think anything is going wrong with this. But let's see, let's see something though. Let's see if we're actually logged in. What if we're not logged in? It's going to crash. But let's just be sure that we are logged. In. So we're just going to do first. Let's use a Come over here again and refresh. So we're logged in as user one. So, so what's, what exactly is going on with this? Hmm. All right, let's see though. Let's let's just uh, look at what exactly might be going on. So we have this here already. Um, we have this here already. We have this here already. So start dates, reason, start date, end date, comment. So let's, let's, let's look at our views though. If request is post, form is equal to create the form request or post. If form is valid, form the save. Okay. What exactly is not allowing this to submit? Um, I don't get anything here. It's very difficult. So let me just post my video and then troubleshoot a bit, and I'll let I'll let you guys know what exactly went went wrong. All right, so I actually found the issue. It was actually obvious, but not so obvious. So here's the thing, right? So I said I was going to exclude these M fields, right, from the form, right? So Django was like, okay, you are excluding these fields. That makes sense. But why aren't you excluding this field? So this field is not excluded from here, or this um, attribute called user isn't excluded from here. And at the same time, it's not included in your um, form, in your HTML form which is this one. So what exactly is going on? So that's why it was saying um, something went wrong. So what we'll have to do now is come over here and also exclude user. So we'll just do user as well, so from here. So um, check everything is okay. And then let's go back to our form and then let's refresh. Okay, so we'll just say, um, get my glasses. Okay, and then uh, we wanna start from start dates and let's say we wanna end. Uh, so I just, want to get my glasses all right the emoji yes so we'll just submit and then you can see leave request has been submitted and it's under review all right so we can also do leave request and now you can see um reason get my glasses start date 24 blah blah, blah end day 25th and comments i just want to get my glasses right so it's pending and no response and this is when it was created Cool. So let's see how it looks from the admin side. So let's um, come over to VS Code. And um, so we'll just come over here and then we'll just a come over here and then we'll paste as well. So yeah. Okay. So um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay. So let's come over to, so here, let's just do action, right? So uh, hold on. Let's just, let me just copy this quickly. 
um, copy and paste, right? And then we'll just do action. Okay, cool. So, or do you know what? Do you know? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Instead of doing inst instead of doing this, right? Let's let's do something. Let's um um let's create it. Let's create. Okay, just hold on. Back is scratching me. Um. Uh, okay, so let's do something. Actually, let's come over to views, right? Let's don't rush things. So let's create another view called um dev and then let's call it admin admin response actually all right so we're just taking request and they'll just pass so come over to forms and then we just do live admin response form right and then we'll just call the same mod forms model form right plus meta model is going to be leave um so we have fields right so what do you want to do? what fields are we looking at looking out for oh uh, so we have um status right and then also have admin comments okay so come over to views go up and then we'll just do I mean, cool. So come over here. So I'm going to say if, um, oh, my back is scratching me. Oh Lord. So this is going to be like PK actually. So put PK here. So we want to get the particular leave, right? So we'll just say leave those objects. All right. Dot get PK is PK. Right. So we're going to say if request the method so if it's posts we're going to say form is um is a direct is a I haven't seen this before is a directory error hmm that's weird okay so leave okay so um objects sorry what am I doing what am I doing requests dot posts so we have instance is leave right um, if form dot is underscore valid, um, VR is, um, is form, hold on, <sighs> okay, so VR, if form is valid, VR is equal to form dot save, all right, um, commit false, right? So let's just, let's do something. So we'll just some check. So if var dot um dot status, right? It equals um approve. Um, want to do want to do messages dot success. All right. So let's do approve. So let's do let's just copy this or rather let's just copy this whole thing here right and then paste it in here but let's just change this to var dot user actually okay so if this is approved blah 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 and then uh, we're going to return redirect so just return to home right um no let's do a lift so a lift Let's just let me just copy this one. Put it in here. Alright, so we'll do decline. Alright, so if it's declined, so we'll just copy this one. Paste it in here. Alright. Uh we'll copy this one. Paste it in here. Um do 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 else. Else we just return. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, if this, this, this. Hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I did something wrong. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's let's remove this actually, right? Let's remove this. 
Inform the body from the city. So if I approve, why don't you do this? Return direct home. Um, do this else. Else return. Else return. Redirect. And then just go home. Right? Do nothing. Um. Return direct home. Mm -hmm. So else. Messages dot warning. So we're just taking request and then we'll just say um something went wrong. Right? Uh return redirect to just take it back to home. Uh what else? What else? So else form is admin response form instance is gonna be leave context form form return render right requests leave um leave sorry what am I doing admin underscore response dot html context right okay so we just have to add this one as well so so we'll copy this come over to this one so we're going to remove this two here right and then we're just going to do pass so admin response we're going to also get some parameters and admin response views the admin response so we'll just do admin response response right one more to views we can just delete this right Okay, so let's just call this um, admin response. I think that makes a whole lot of sense, right? You guys, tell me what you think. You guys, I think it makes a whole lot of sense, yeah? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, so let's do something. Um, we're going to create HTML for this. So we'll just copy this admin response. Go over to leave create something here and then the HTML. Let's just take create leave. So we'll just copy this one. Admin response, paste it in here. Um so okay so hold on. So let's do let's do um something. So let's go over to views right and then let's also put in let's also put in leave here. So we'll just do leave. Alright and then leave. Cool. So we're going to do admin response again. Um, so respond to live requests by. So this is going to be. Um, what am I doing? Live dot user. All right. Um, so we're just going to delete this two down here. No, I think I deleted more. So delete these two down, right? And then let's do something. So here is going to be stick toss. Right? Um select status and additional statement so we'll just call this admin statement here admin statement sorry admin comment additional comments okay so poof i think we're getting somewhere right so let's come over to leave request queue and then action come down here and then we're just going to do um an e tag right so we're going to go to URL, admin response, l.pk. All right, so we also have class, btn, btn primary, the btn small, right? Um, so admin is going to like um, review, let's call this review. Okay, so um, we need to have like a button, right? So let's go over to base.html and then let's just do 
admin queue here. Um, where is that? So let's just let me just delete this one. We're not going to be using this actually, so delete this. So we'll just copy this. All right. So we'll come over here and paste. Okay. So I'll just do a check here. If requests dot user dot is is oh, super user. All right. I'll come over here, and then I'll just do end if right. Okay. Cool. So. I'll come over here and then I will just do um, leave requests queue. All right, so leave requests queue. So I'll just do um, um, let me just leave requests queue. So leave requests queue, right? Um, okay, cool. Makes sense. Mm, yeah, this makes sense. So let me see. From my admin perspective, so if I should come over to view sites, all right, what happened? Fields, what what happened? Model form and type entry fields attribute exclude prohibited. Ah, hold on, let me just run this back again. Run the server. Okay, so refresh. All right, so you can see leave request queue, right? So I don't want admins to be able to request a leave. So let me just do, let me just copy this though, right? So admins can't request leave. Let's just put that there. So I'll just do if not, all right? And then I'll do uh, and like an end if here. So admins can't see this, so refresh. Yeah, so leave request queue. Now you can see the queue, right? okay so this guy so we need to see who did this who who is doing this so let's come over to um battery is low let me check my battery real quickly you guys hold on one minute ah uh, you plug in my charger okay all right so um what was i saying i was saying something okay so um if you look at so we need to know who created the leave, you know, at, at first glance. So let's come over to leave request queue. Um, let's just copy this. Okay, come over here, paste. All right, so we'll just do created by. All right, so here we're just going to do um, so l dot l dot user actually. So come over here to leave queue refresh. You can see you created by user one and then review, right? So no response from admin yet. Status is pending. I'll click on review and then I can see pending, decline or approve. So if I click on approve and then let me just say good to go. All right, good to go. And then I submit, what happens? So it says you have approved the leave request for user one. So if I come over to user one's end, and then I should refresh. So this should show me um, approved, right? So refresh, you can see approved. And then um, admin response says nil. So which should not be the case. Which shouldn't be the case, so let's see. So let's come over to admin response, right? So let's see. No, no admin response. Let's come over to all, all leave requests. So let's see if admin comment, right? So let's just copy this, come over to leave request queue, paste it in here as well too. So um, copy over here and then let's refresh. Um, admin response. No, that's 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 wrong. <laughs> Hold on, admin response should be admin response rather. So admin comment okay so copy this all leave requests put in here as well too okay so let's see so refresh so you can see admin response is good to go and it's been approved right okay so from my end as well too i can see leave request queue this so we can't see anything obviously in the leave request queue that's because it's been approved but if I click, so if I should create another leave request, what should happen? So let me say um, I need 
to go for sorry i need oh uh, sorry attend a wedding um so let's say from um uh, friday to like um friday to like 25th right so submit okay so if i click on leave request i can see this is pending no comments just pending so come over to admins end so refresh we can see something you know um, attend the wedding so this day to this date so i can review this i'm like nah bro so decline i'm like nah and then i'll just submit right so submitted come over here i can't say anything because i've already attended to that leave right so if i come over to these guys and i can refresh and then i can see declined and i'll just see nah. <laughs> all right so that's how it works though i hope you enjoyed this one and yeah so basically that's all i think that's all you can leverage on this anyways you can leverage on this and do crazy sh like yes before i go before i start talking about leveraging i forgot to actually do yeah you guys you didn't even tell me imagine i just left you guys hanging so i forgot to do the change password thingy right i didn't do the change password thing yeah i suppose i was supposed to do here so change password okay i did change password yes uh change password so i didn't do um i didn't do account so i didn't do update profile and i didn't do block accounts so let me just do, do this very quickly show you guys how it looks like so let's do create leave so let me just copy this from here and do update profile paste this in here so i'll just do update profile okay um of the profile so let's just do first name i think all the two attributes that we created there so we'll also do like first name here all right so first name and then obviously um last name all right so let's call this let's call this surname all right so just um remove this <sighs> okay so of the profile all right so let me see where this is going to go to when i update profile so let me click on view so when i update profile where is it going to is going to home okay cool okay so um let's see let's let's see how it go uh, let's see how it looks like but before that let's just do base that is uh we're gonna do let's come over to um so just copy this right oh hold on one minute yeah let's just copy no no let's not put it there let's come down here put it here all right and then we can just say what did i copy uh copy the wrong thing so let me just copy this again come down here paste in here and let's call this of the profile of the profile Move over here and refresh so i just want to show you guys from the end results please so i can click on update profile and now you can see certain oh my god um <laughs> i made a mistake somewhere so let me look at the update profile uh, this shouldn't be type dates let me just clear that very quickly okay so surname last name okay cool so come over here and refresh so you can see first name surname now i can do this in a way where if they don't have their first if there is no first name and surname we can just do put their username but once they put in their first name we just change this back to their first name so to do that come over here uh let's go over to big.html actually so we're going to do um um so just say if requests dot user dot first name or let's do not first name right so we'll just come here and just say else so let's copy this paste in here and we'll just say uh first name right and then we are going to we're going to say end if 
Okay, so if you don't have your first name, we're just going to show your username. So refresh, you can see username. But when I put my first name here, so if I just do user one, right? And then I submit, now you can see this turns to user, right? Um, let me, okay, let me just show you guys. If I do user one, no, let's do user, or let's just do Udochi, right? So you can see submit, you can see Udochi. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, so for me, for Chidi, it's still going to be Chidi anyways. I haven't changed it. Um, so for the update profile, so for the update password, it's going to work though. But um, I don't obviously tell you guys the password I'm using, so I'm not going to try, try that out. Um, what else again? What else? What else? What else? So if so if I block a user, what, what happens? Okay, so let me show you guys what happens. So let me go to the admin um, page here. But before that, let me just put like a sign, um, a, um, what is it called? Let me put like, um, oh, let me put like a button here. So I'll just call this logouts. All right. So it take us to logouts. Yes. And BTN one in. So BTN small, all right? So come over here and we can see the button here. So we can log out, right? So let me log out from here. Mm, okay, so if I feel like logging in, I can't even log in self. It's going to tell me to log in. So let me show you guys how the experience is when I block a user. All right, so if I come over to admin, so I'll just do users here. Now let me just block user one, see how it is. So now he's active. So let me just uncheck that and save. So let's see the experience for user one. So let user one try to sign in. Let's see. So I'll come over to um, incognito, right? And then let's see. So let's, let's sign in as user one. User one, then try entering password. Now you can see nothing is happening. So let's see again. Um, user one, all right? Then enter password. Nothing is happening. So this user is actually meant to go to the screen I showed you guys. So let me see what's going on. But anyway, I can't log in, but let me see what's going on. Uh, let me see what's going on. Let me see what's going on. Accounts of user.py. So account block, right? Okay, so if user is active. Uh, if user is active. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Authenticate. If user is not known, if user is active, else return with the right account block. Okay, so hold on, let's try something. Let's go to base.html. Let's just copy this. Let's see what exactly this is hitting. Come over to base.html here. Paste in here, right? So. I don't think I changed the password for user one. So this should work fine. So you can see something went wrong, something went wrong. Check for me, people. Okay. So I do user one. Something went wrong, please check. So basically it's working because if I if I come over here and uh make him active again. So save. So if I come over here, I can log in very well. So I can log in very well here, yes. So um, ho hold on, let's see what exactly this, this is hitting. So let me click on views, right? So let's see, so uh, so it's getting to this place and it's saying it's, uh, it's not known. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I see. So if user is not known, okay, if user is active, hmm. Hmm. I think I messed up the checks here, but you know what? Let me not waste you guys' time. I'll review the checks again, and then if uh, I, it's like, I would, I would see exactly what is going wrong, and then I'm going to make another video explaining this for you guys. I think that would be better. Right, so I think something is going on here. There's something I'm missing out here that I need to rectify. So once I do it, I'm going to let, let you guys know in another video. All right. So um, 
enjoy yourself you know enjoy yourself watch this video if you have questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section you can shoot me an email uh, i'll be sure to respond all right uh stay safe uh, stay safe guys and we're going to connect in another video bye for now